Yo, what you doing, bro? I know you ain't click on this video, not subscribe to me, and you not gonna hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button for your boy, and if you already hit it, just stay tuned for the video. But everybody who didn't subscribe, be sure to do that right now. And also, if y'all need that lockdown defense, I got y'all. Everything y'all see here, everything y'all see in my gameplay, my whole Buffalo Bills defense to dominate and winning games, getting picks, getting sacked, fumbles, whatever you need, stopping aggressive catching, stopping power stretches, I got y'all. Link is in the description. Without further ado, let me get y'all into this gameplay blitz reaction video. Whatever y'all watching, let's get it. What's good, YouTube? Your boy, JML Flow back with another Madden 17 tip video. And if you watch the intro, please subscribe. Give me to that 2K for your boy. But today, we're going to talk about how to win more games. Like with this method, I guarantee you will win 70% more of your games. Uh, I think I'm joking. I'm not joking. Uh,. I'm honestly not joking. I'm not joking. Now, now there is some people like you just can't win because you're not good enough yet. That like that can be a possibility, right? But uh, other thing, other most of y'all, I know most of y'all out there just lose because y'all make dumb decisions, right? I know that's the, I know that's the truth. I know that's the truth because I lost a lot of games because I'm dumb. You know what I'm saying? First thing you want to do to fix that. Do what works, man. I know y'all hear me say my gameplays. Oh, all he gonna do is come out and spam the run. If people spam the run on you, that they doing it because they picking up ten yards of carry. Like why? Okay, I can run a ball ten times and get down the field, right, and score a touchdown. So why would I want to do anything else to score that touchdown? If I know I can guarantee this, and you can't stop this, and I can do this the whole game. Oh, okay, ten yards. Uh oh, now I'm at the thirty. Let me do it again. Oh my God, he's still not stopped. Okay, five yards. You know, like he gonna keep doing it down the field. And if, if they can do it, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? So all you wanna do, do what works. If your opponent can't stop halfback base, if he, if he can't stop halfback base, keep running until you stop it. Now, 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 obviously mix it up. Like, don't, you don't gotta completely, like you don't gotta shy away from him. That's what I'm saying. You don't gotta spam it every play like boom, 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 boom. But if I can do this, 10 times down the field and get down the field then like okay next play i just run a halfback sweep for three yards i'm gonna mix in a draw or something you know what i'm saying i'm mixing a draw now then i'm gonna go back to the sweep because he can't stop it if your opponent can't stop something that's his fault not yours just remember that y'all you know what i'm saying so just stay true to yourself i know a lot of people they wager somebody people be in streams oh you suck all you can do is uh spam stretch and power but tell them i'm doing that shit because it worked my nigga you know what i'm saying it worked you doing things that work, bruh, so keep doing you. Like, they can't, like, stay true to yourself and you will win so many more games. Like, do what works. You want to do what works. And once you keep doing that, once they stop it and force you to do something else, yes, good job by them. You finally stopped me. But then if they not stopping it, just do what works. A lot of people shy away. Like, here's, here's what I hate seeing. Like, I will play somebody, right? They will do a stretch on me for, like, 25 yards. I'm like, damn, they gashed me. I don't got no answer for it. Very next play, they come out with three wide receivers trying to pass the ball, and they never run a stretch until, like, the fourth quarter. But by that time, the game over. I'm like, if he probably would have kept running that stretch, I probably could have, uh, he probably would have beat me because I couldn't stop it. But then, that, like, that's what people do. So that's rule number one. Stay true to yourself. Uh, don't let nobody get you out your game. No matter how many people say, oh, you suck, you only doing this, you only doing that. Like, I know I say that, but that's just because I'm a competitive gamer and I get angry, you know what I'm saying? I just get mad. I, I say stuff, oh, he's a bum. He only does this, he only does that. But he only doing that because I can't stop it. So that's on me. That make me trash. If I can't stop something, then he only doing one play. Because only one play to stop. Next thing you want to do, punt the damn ball on fourth down. Punt the ball on fourth down. Unless you, unless it's like first quarter and like you, you probably, you confident in yourself that you can pick up this fourth down. Fourth and eight or higher, I would say punt the ball. Unless you know like, if, if unless the game is like for money and you really need this game, you know what I'm saying? But... Like, a lot of people are like, uh, what they, they be like, here's exactly what happened. They, like, he had run out of bounds like that. Why he run out of bounds? They hurry up. They pick and play. They don't even know what they pick. They, they, they just angry, about to go for it on 4th and 11. They just hurry it up, and this, this happened. They're like, uh, they don't get it. Oh, man, it's a minute left. I was down two, but now he got the ball at his 40 because I just got decided to be angry and go for it. You know what I'm saying? But you don't want to do that. Like, just be smart if... If you up by a field goal and it's fourth and two or four, even fourth and three, like be smart. If he had his field goal, bruh, 
if you are if you on his side of the territory i would say the only place you should go for it in cruiser situations is if you at like your own 45 because that's like uh i'm close to my touchdown but not really and i might got a chance to stop him but you don't ever want to get somebody good field position i don't care how good you are like you just don't want to do that and just do the smart thing uh, like, you know, because you're going to force them to drive 80 yards down the field and score to win the game. You're going to force them to play against your defense. And if you trust in your D, then you should be fine. Other thing, don't ever run plays you don't run. Like, just don't do that. If you never ran that play before, like, here's a lot of people do. Nothing's working, right? Okay, everything shut down. They come here. They go to buy formation. They go to watch trips. And they're like, oh... That looked good. And that's exactly what they say. My bad, y'all. But look, yeah, that's exactly what they say. Oh my god, that looked good. Why drag? Let me try that. That post route looked glitchy. And they don't know what else to do because they've been getting locked up. They come here. They they making just terrible reads. They like they don't know what to do. They cause you never ran a play before. Don't ever run a formation or play you never ran before. Unless you lab in that game, or unless you up by a lot, or you pretty confident with the concept. Uh, you know, like if you confident with the concept, you see, like if you see a different corner strike concept and you run a, a type of corner strike concept, yeah, most people would be like this. I need something deep. So they pick a random play that happens. Uh oh, fumble six. Like that's exactly what you don't want to do. You like you you working with the playbook you worked in. You know what plays you ran before. Like you know what you doing. So don't you don't have to run plays you never ran before. Just stick to what you know, and that will get you through the game. Like, uh, like I don't know how how else to say it. Like, <laughs> like it's just it's simply just being smart. Do what you know, and stick to what stick to what's working. Like, like you ain't if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So like I said, rule number one: just do stick to what's working. If he can't stop four verticals or stick every time you go to it, if he can't stop it, boom. If you need to just keep using it, don't ever shy away from what's working. Don't let nobody take you out your game. Stay true to yourself. Two. What was number two? I forgot what number two was. It's so much stuff. Be smart. Yeah, punt it on fourth down. Be smart. Uh, if it's if it's fourth and one, don't try to send no crazy blitz or something. Like if it's third and one, don't be trying to send no blitz you learned on YouTube or something. Like you you know they about to run a ball. Like like do the smart thing. Like don't just don't be dumb. Just don't be dumb. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Don't be dumb, like, yeah, okay, it's third and one. He might run, so I'm gonna just send this blitz that stack everybody to the left, but he might run to the right, but I'm just not gonna do nothing about it. But, like, yeah, like I'm saying, uh, <laughs> uh, but like I'm saying, uh, man, all you gotta do is stay true to yourself, play smart, and do what you know. That's the three things you do. Like if you if you all you know is inside zone and you just a beginner, if it's working, it's working. Like don't ever try. Oh, I'm gonna try outside zone because that look cool, you know. And then this gonna happen. Uh, I mean, this time it worked, but most of the time if you never try to play before, you're not gonna be successful at it. If you never play basketball, when you step on the court, you're not gonna be good at it. If you never if you never threw a football, when you get a football in your hand, you're never gonna be good at it, bro. Unless you like like got natural skill for it, like. But like I said, I'm gonna let y'all go. Let me know if this helped y'all. But until then, it's your boy J Mel Flow, aka Mr. Let's get it. Let's go.